you know, what I think about a women's cinema. If those words together help female filmmakers make films and get them in the world, great. If it hurts, get rid of it. And I think that depends on the context it's used in and where it's used and how it's used. The challenge of the Canadian cinema to find itself over this 20, 120 years of filmmaking has been the United States of America and the industrialization of cinema. For the first 80 years of filmmaking in Canada, finding a screen to show your film on was virtually impossible. So in that sense, we have a, an unusual national cinema history. Um, and women like Ingrid have really kind of embody the whole history of it in, a, in an interesting way. I make films a little bit outside the system and as long as I make films in a sort of punk rock way, very DIY, then I can keep making them. It's interesting that a film like Porcupine Lake, which we're showing uh, now, is a product of 120 years of independence in terms of history uh, for filmmaking in Canada. Porcupine Lake is about a love story between two 13-year-old girls who meet over one summer in Northern Ontario. It's a personal story for me. Ingrid is very good at creating stories out of the intimacy between people at whatever level, how, that, how profound that is and how it can actually explode your world into something new. Kiss me. 